hi my friends welcome back i'm going to teach you based on one comment of one of my followers that ask me what is basically the voltages for example for cpu circuit what is the voltage needed for the cpu and the voltage for the ram the voltage for the chipset the voltage for the bios etc so in this video i'm going to teach you all voltages okay and the right voltages you're gonna understand all kind of voltages in the motherboard and the range for each voltage so please don't forget to like subscribe let's get started so as i told you i'm going to teach you all voltages in the motherboard and this is basically based on comment of one of my followers and of course the exact value for each voltage okay so of course we're gonna see the motherboard and i'm going also to teach you uh, in, um, in a theory part okay practical part and theory part so guys first let's began with so this is our topic all motherboard voltages we're gonna see all motherboard voltages okay and of course we're gonna see the range for its voltage okay the range for its voltage so we're gonna see the charge circuit okay my friend we're gonna see the charge circuit its voltage okay the right voltage i'm going also to teach you of course the three volt and five volt circuit this is clear also we're gonna see the ram circuit here you have to pay attention what is the ram circuit voltage okay i'm going also to teach you the cpu circuit voltage and how many kind of voltages basically we have three okay of course i'm going to tell you the voltage for each circuit and also the interval okay my friend the interval how many volt here and here in this video you're gonna understand everything and other circuit like for the pc hedge for the BIOS and SIO, etc. Okay, my friends. So this is what we gonna discuss and study in this video today. Okay, so let's get started. Let's begin from charge circuit, then three volt, five volt, RAM circuit, CPU, and other circuits. Okay, so here, my friends. For charge circuit, basically depending on the type of the laptop. On the adapter, you're going to find the voltage. Sometimes it could be 5 volts for type C newest motherboard. It could be 12 volt, it could be 15 volt, 18 volt, okay, 19 volt, 20 volt, etc okay so for the charge or the main voltage b plus is varied depending on type of the laptop and of course you can just take a look here to the adapter my friends do you see here okay take a look here my friends here i have the adapter do you see we have 19.5 volt 3.33 amps so for this laptop it used 19.5 volts okay so this is how you can check the voltage this is basically hp laptop okay my friends so always pay attention to this voltage here that's why i told you that the main voltage could be 5 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt, 18 volt, 19, 20, etc. 
for 3.3 volt and 5 volt of course my friends we're gonna see everything in the motherboard just be patient and stay tuned okay so the i mean the 3 volt 5 volts circuit is clear and is basically we have 3 volt 5 volt but the right voltage is 3.3 volts always okay and 5 volts always this is the voltage that you can check for 3.3 volt and 5 volts always what about the ram circuit guys we're gonna see see everything in the motherboard just stay tuned we're gonna analyze first the voltages and check the motherboard uh, basically my friends for ram okay for the ram circuit here let's see here the ram ram voltages circuit voltages here basically guys depending on the type of what depending on the type of the ram basically we have for ram ddr5 okay ddr5 we have the main voltage let's see the main voltage okay and we have the vtt for terminal or termination okay my friends so let's do like this so for ddr5 the main voltage my friend is what is one one point one volt okay plus one point one volt the VTT always here we have divided. Divided by what? By two. Here we have divided by two. So the VTT equal 1.1 volt. We're gonna see all this in the motherboard. Divided by two, we have 0 0.55 volt. Okay, for DDR5. For DDR, basically for the main voltage is plus 1.2 volt and the vtt is plus 0 0.6 volt always we have this remember this okay for ddr3 the main voltage is plus 1.5 volt and the VTT, my friends, is plus 0 0.75 volts. Okay, for termination. This is basically the most used RAMs, but just to know, we can add here DDR to, okay, the main voltage is 1.8 volt and the VTT is divided by 2 to half is plus 0 0.9 volt. We can add also the last one, DDR1, but just to know, but this one is old RAM 2.5 volt and the VTT basically is 1.25 volt okay my friends this is the ram voltages and of course in some motherboard there is other another voltage basically the, this voltage basically is for also buses it is used for buses for communication we find it usually in this RAM 1.8 volts. Also, it could be in DDR4 1.8 volt and DDR5 1.8 volt. It can vary depending 
on the type of the RAM. Sometimes for RAMs we find also 3.3 volts. This is an, uh, basically an additional voltage, 3.3 volts in some RAM. So guys, basically guys, this is the RAM voltages. If you master this table, you got, this is basically the only table you need to check all kind of RAMs. This is the table. And of course, this is the most used DDR5 and DDR4 and sometimes DDR3. Very advanced RAMs, these two have. Okay, my friends, we're gonna check the motherboard. Just stay tuned. Nice. Now we have seen the charge circuit voltage. We have seen those. We have seen the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. The right voltage is 3.3 volt and 5 volt. The RAM circuit, we have seen the voltages here. Now, my friends, let's move on to the CPU circuit. Okay, CPU circuit. Let's also check the CPU circuit. So, for the CPU, basically, my friends, I will show to you first how the CPU works. So, basically, the CPU needs a main voltage for the CPU, it has a main voltage, main v voltage, and also other secondary voltage like VCCP. Okay, so the main voltage we called it plus VCC core. Okay, my friends, so. Depending here, my friends, depending on type of the CPU. So for CPU, we don't have like the RAM naming like this. But for the CPU, of course, depending on the type of the CPU and how the VCC core is generated. Basically, let's assume that this one, this is the CPU. Okay, the CPU in the motherboard. Okay, this is here we have the motherboard. Okay, my friend, this is motherboard. Here we have the CPU. And here we have the IC. The CPU, basically controller IC. This one generates basically plus VCC core. Okay, my friends. So, the VCC core, basically, my, my friends, is the range for the VCC core is between plus 0 0.7 volt to 1.2 volt for newest processor. But for old processor, it could be here 3.3 volt sometimes. So this is the range, my friends. This is the range for plus VCC core, okay? So how we get VCC core, basically, the CPU, every CPU has IDs, about seven IDs. It sends the seven IDs to the processor, okay, my friends, here we have VID, okay, or CPU ID. It sends these IDs to the CPU IC and then the IC based on these IDs, this IC know the voltage, the V reference. For example, for this CPU, let's see, its voltage is one volt plus one volt. So these IDs will tell to the CPU IC that the voltage needed for the CPU is 1 volt and then it, it will generate as 1 volt as VCC core and of course 1 volt is in this range between plus 0 0.7 volt to 1.2 volt but another CPU will generate other IDs we called it ID okay my friends and I can even show to you these IDs in the motherboard. Just stay tuned. And of course, my friends, we have another voltage 
for the CPU, we call it VCCP. This voltage basically it's not for the CPU but also for the chipsets. Okay, chip sets like the PC heads. This voltage okay is for CPU, for PC heads, for South Bridge and North Bridge or chipsets. This one is stable 1.05 volt plus 1.05 volt this is basically the vcc without this voltage no communication will be occurred between chipsets between cpu and pch etc okay my friends i hope that you understand this is basically the two voltage voltages that i'm going to show you and to teach you in the motherboards Okay, just be patient and stay tuned, my friends. Nice. Let's right now move on to this other circuit, PCH, BIOS, SIO, etc. So, my friends, for this BIOS, basically, for the BIOS, basic input output system for beginner BIOS is basic input output system for BIOS. The BIOS chip basically is 8-pin BIOS chip. If we consider this is the pin number one, so the reading is counterclockwise means this is the pin number eight. Here, my friend, in the pin number eight, and of course, pin number four always connected to the ground. Always for the BIOS, my friend, this is BIOS. Okay, this is BIOS. For the BIOS, my friends, the pin number eight always you have to find 3.3 volts. Without 3.3 volt in the pin number eight of the BIOS, nothing will be happen. We're gonna see all this in the motherboards okay so for the pch for the pch also for the pch it has the same voltage as the cpu this one plus vcc p 1.05 volt and another voltage for pch and basically chipsets is about 1.02 or 04 volts it could be one volt sometimes this is basically the working voltage for chipsets we're gonna see all this so for the sio my friend for the sio the voltage the working voltage for the sio is basically 3.3 volt sio always use 3.3 volt voltage in inputs and outputs now let's see all these voltages my friends all motherboard voltages let's see all these voltages here in a real motherboard let's go to the practical part 